there, folks. Kia here, and I am joining Christina from the town of Silverthorne. Christina, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Kia. How are you? I am doing good. I can't believe that, you know, we've got a couple ski resorts open. Halloween is just around the corner. Uh, so what is going on over in the town of Silverthorne? What should people be marking their calendars for? Well, we are getting ready for a very exciting November 1st Friday. Um, it is that time of year. <laughs> Fall is definitely here and November is um, approaching quickly. So the town of Silverthorne has partnered with Tonos Latinos um, for a very exciting November 1st Friday, a celebration of Dia de Martos. Excellent. So tell me about all the different sort of festivities going on for that. Yes, so Tonos Latinos is a Latino artist organization out of Aurora, and so they're helping put this um, event really festival on. Um, and as part of that, they have an artist exhibition set up right now in the Silverthorne Performing Arts Center that is on display through November 12th. Um, there's a, a full-size Katrina, uh, off, a community ofrenda, um, and a bunch of different um, mixed media um, art uh, pieces that are also on display in the Performing Arts Center. It's a really beautiful exhibition. And then um, we will have a couple different workshops where community members can get involved, learn about um, Dia de Muertos, and really be a part of putting that celebration together for First Friday. So on October 30th, there is a pinata workshop with Tonos Latinos, and community members can um, sign up and come in and make um, pinatas. The, all the materials will be provided and those pinatas will be used to decorate the Performing Arts Center ahead of First Friday. Um, so they can see them, you know, along with the community really be part of setting up that event and then take them home after, after First Friday. Um, there's another workshop on November 2nd with Tonos Latinos um, for uh, Papel Picado. So community members can come in, um, they'll help decorate a large pinata that we will break during November 1st Friday, um, as well as make other items out of Papel Picado, really learn about the significance of what that represents um, in Dia de Muertos. So we're really excited for these opportunities for community members to come together to learn and celebrate this important cultural heritage within our community around this event and holiday. Well, this sounds like it is a excellent lineup of things to check out. And I, I definitely think people that are going to be checking out the pinata workshop or the, uh, what was the other workshop again? Um, is the Papel Picado workshop. That's right, the Papel Picado. I wanted to make sure I was saying that right either one of those workshops, they should definitely go ahead of time and check out the art exhibition yes. that the group of artists, the Tonos Latinas, did I say that right? Yes, it's Tonos Latinos. <laughs> uh, they go ahead and check out their exhibition ahead of time uh, for a little inspiration. Uh, and I, I have to say that I love the giant pinata that will be broken at the November 1st Friday. So quite a lineup of fun events. Um, yes. Now, as far as registering for those workshops, I'm is that something that they have to do ahead of time? Uh, yes, the so space is limited in the workshops, so register in advance. You can um, go to silverthorn.org to find out all the details. Um, register just by emailing our event coordinator, so that's um, marcusm at silverthorn.org to reserve your space. All that information is available at silverthorn.org. Um, and you can't make it to the workshops. November 1st Friday is Friday, November 5th. Um, it'll be 4 to 7 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. We'll have local band Remezcla. Um, the Summit County Mariachi Band will be there, um, along with all of the artists from Tonus Latinos. And um, it'll be a really wonderful educational and fun community event to celebrate this holiday. And I think going ahead and stopping in at Red Buffalo Cafe and getting a hot chocolate or one of their Pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice lattes paired with checking out the November 1st Friday or any of these workshops is going to be a very festive fall sort of yes. evening or afternoon. So. Okay, well, Christina, thank you so much for joining me. And one last time, where do people go to uh, register and find out more of the lineup of events? Yes, for all things Silverthorne, head to silverthorne.org. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Christina. Thanks, Kia. Have a great day.